A fire drill of a sports cast here. Locomotive FC currently in penalty kicks against FC Tulsa on the El Paso Las Cruces CW. That's going on right now as we speak. Meanwhile, UTEP has reminded folks in El Paso that they do indeed have their own football program. A 3-1 and one start, their best in the decade. But the pessimists echo that two of those wins came against FCS schools. Well, tonight, the test, Louisiana Tech, a team that won 10 games a season ago, nine more than UTEP, not to mention it was at their place, which isn't Sound necessarily a hot spot tonight. for vacation right now hurricanes in the region but the skies were friendly for football so we had a game and a good one indeed skies friendly for Gavin Hardison who hits Devon Cooper on the go route biscuit in the basket game tied at seven La Tech would strike before the half and take a 14-7 lead but out of the break the Bulldogs would be in the red zone this is a team with a high powered offense here Justin Henderson just goes rock city round the outside breaking tackles and he's going to break the plane here. This one right before the half. It made it 14-7. Henderson, remember, Louisiana Tech, they usually have con continuity at the quarterback position. Not this year. So Henderson, the go-to guy on offense, puts the Bulldogs up 21-10 in the fourth quarter. And you think, oh, well, you know, UTEP might blow the lead. But this isn't your older brother's minors. Ensuing kickoff, Duran Lowe has some daylight to the window, to the wall, get Low, 100 yards to the painted grass. Somebody wake up Jordan Palmer. We've got a ball game in Ruston. Miners cut the deficit to four. And let me tell you, the defense was spectacular, keeping him in the ball game the whole night. UTEP needing a stop to get the football back under six minutes. And this man's going to be playing on Sundays. Here's his tape. All praise to 23. Praise Emma Hooley, sacks Luke Anthony. And it appears as if UTEP going to get the football back with a chance to win. Just field the punt and get the offense on the field. But the story reached its climax here in the end. Roughing the kicker. It's 15 yards and an automatic first. First down on Gary Theard. La Tech would run out the clock. UTEP wouldn't have any clean looks to the win. A dagger to the heart, coupled with a sledgehammer to the throat. UTEP takes the hard L. It's penalties, 12 of them killing UTEP. I wish UTEP would have told me. I would have sent my hamper with the team had I known all the laundry that was going to be going on in Ruston. So close yet so far in the end. Dana Dimmel on his takeaway. You got to make more plays and we got to make less mistakes. And so we got to go back to the drawing board and know and see, you know, where we are now, right? Where, where our program is in this league. And it's just like I've said now, I think we've put ourselves up where we can play at the top of the league with anybody, right? And the upcoming schedule here for UTEP. You see the schedule there. Do you see the loss from Louisiana Tech? UTEP falling to three and two as now they now get into the bulk of conference play. Southern Miss next week at home, and then you see they close it out there. North Texas, FIU, UTSA. There's Rice all the way at the bottom. They've yet to play a game all season, but clearly in defeat, UTEP. A lot of optimism coming from taking out the top dogs on the road.